foretelling an imminent recession requires no prophetic vision. Warren Buffett, when queried about the victors in such fiscal turmoil, asserts, The rich guys like me, you know, we have gone from having 93 billion top 400 and in 1982 to having 2.4 trillion 25 for one. As the masses succumb to panic, hoarding currency and halting their financial ventures, they overlook a crucial perspective. Numerous affluent figures vocalize their tactics, delineating their secret formulae for triumph in these times. Today, we unveil important transformative strategies that are essential for not only surviving, but flourishing and building wealth in the impending recession. Well, I had a, I, I had a price limit on it and we were buying it on, on Friday, but it's cheaper this morning and that's good news. So you buy more as a Absolutely. result. Absolutely. When, when people start to think, well, this could be the beginning of something really bad. The economic landscape is undoubtedly set to deteriorate in 2024. Heeding Warren Buffett's approach, grounded in patience and astute decision-making, is paramount. His methodologies have steered him through the market's tumultuous seas, crowning him the unrivaled investment sovereign. One, embrace patience and sound judgment. A recession invariably heralds layoffs, salary reductions, and a depreciation in assets such as stocks and real estate. This downturn will not be a subdued event. It will unleash ripples through global markets impacting everything from corporate profits to consumer sentiment. We also face geopolitical strains, including Russia-NATO tensions, cyber attacks, and US-China relations. In response, companies are adapting. In the first three quarters of 2023, approximately 605,000 layoffs were announced, marking a 198% surge from the previous year and the most severe job cut since 2020, second only to 2009. Two, identify the right moment to act. We are witnessing a monumental shift in the global job market. Yet, therein lies an opportunity. The astute investor perceives the interconnection of these global occurrences with the looming recession and positions themselves strategically. It involves insight in recognizing the opportune moment for action and equally for restraint. As these economic conditions loom, seizing the right opportunities amidst the turmoil becomes crucial. By grasping these dynamics, one can accordingly protect their assets and identify fruitful investment avenues. Let's delve into the stock market's trajectory and its implications for your finances. Anytime stocks go down, as far as I'm concerned, I like it because I'm a net buyer of stocks. I'm, I've been buying stocks ever since I was 11 years old. So uh, when stocks go down, it's good news. Just like when hamburgers go down, it's good news. <laughs> or Coca-Cola goes down, it's good news in terms of anything I buy. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to not miss the new videos. Thank you. Currently, major players and indices in the stock market have diminished by roughly 10 to 20%. JP Morgan anticipates further declines. However, this pattern isn't aberrant. Since 1946, the average downturn during bear markets is about 30%. With the 2009 S&P 500 plunge of 57% being the most severe. Yet, when a recession intertwines, the average market drop is around 34.8%. This occurs amidst widespread panic and stock sell-offs. This very moment of downturn often heralds a turnaround and improvement. Observing the SAMP P500 overtime reveals an intriguing pattern. Post-crash, the market invariably rebounds with augmented vigor. What does this signify for you? Despite challenging times, there exist astute strategies to enhance your wealth in the coming months. We anticipate witnessing intriguing developments in the market, potentially offering avenues for shrewd investment decisions. Three, view stock market dips as buying opportunities. Heed these words, for they pave the way to substantial long-term prosperity amidst the forthcoming economic tumult. With astute strategies, one might emerge from this fiscal upheaval in a far more advantageous position than where they commenced. Let us maintain our focus and strategize wisely. Having scrutinized the forecasted economic climate, it's evident that substantial shifts, particularly in the real estate realm, are imminent. Over the past six decades, only a few instances have seen home values plummet by over 15%. Presently, Wall Street savants anticipate a potential nationwide dip in housing prices, 
possibly between 5 and 10 percent. In a less favorable scenario, especially with escalating interest rates, this decline could range from 10 to 25 percent. Yet, it's crucial to remember that real estate's value is intrinsically tied to its locale, with some markets being more susceptible than others. For homeowners, particularly those with fixed-rate mortgages who intend to remain in their homes for the next 5 to 10 years, these fluctuations may be inconsequential. However, for those contemplating property investments or new acquisitions, this period could present opportune moments. The real estate sector is poised to offer both challenges and opportunities for those prepared to navigate these changes. Possessing liquid assets as cash is imperative. Recent fiscal analyses reveal that Warren Buffett and his team have been net sellers in the stock market, adopting a cautious stance amidst this economic uncertainty. This trend is illustrated by the following data. Fourth quarter 2022. Berkshire Hathaway's net equity sales amounted to $14.64 billion. First quarter 2023. Buffett managed $10.41 billion in net equity security sales. Second quarter 2023. Berkshire recorded $7.98 billion in net equity security sales. Over the past year, Buffett, alongside his investment deputies Todd Combs and Ted Weschler, has directed a cumulative $38.28 billion in net equity security sales. To bolster your cash reserves, begin by identifying and eliminating superfluous expenditures. Remember, possessing cash is vital for navigating economic downturns and capitalizing on investment opportunities as they arise. Cash often receives criticism due to its susceptibility to inflationary devaluation. However, when the stock market and other assets are in decline, cash serves as a financial bastion. It offers a secure repository for your funds, particularly in demands like job loss. Consider maintaining an emergency fund to cover essential expenses for several months, including rent, sustenance, and utilities. Presently, even prominent investment managers are holding increased cash reserves, using them as a buffer during economic instability. Then, there's gold. While it may not always be the most lucrative investment, gold often gains luster when stocks falter. Historical instances, such as the 1970s and the 2008 financial crisis, corroborate this. Gold acts as a steadfast ally amidst market chaos. It may not always be the focal point, but in challenging times, it can be a crucial asset. When confidence in stocks and bonds wanes, people often turn to gold as a vote of no confidence in an uncertain economy. When trust in governmental and banking institutions erodes, gold becomes a preferred refuge. However, it's important to note that hoarding cash or investing in gold, while prudent in the short term, are not panaceas for sustained growth. Let's say you take in that $10,000 and you listen to the profits of doom and gloom around you, and instead you use the $10,000 to buy gold. Look in your safe deposit box and you'd have your three ounce, 100 ounces of gold and you could look at it and you could fondle it. I mean, whatever you wanted to do with it, but it didn't produce anything. Four, prepare for further market swings. In contemplating the long-term financial strategy, diversification is key. Spread your risks to remain resilient against whatever the economy may unleash. In the face of this looming recession, it's easy to be swept up in the immediate turmoil and lose sight of long-term investment objectives. This period, however, presents an ideal opportunity to fortify our financial future by focusing on two pivotal strategies, long-term investment and diversification of your portfolio. Exercise prudence in your diversification. Avoid overextending in stock acquisitions for mere variety. Research and strategize your investments meticulously. We think diversification is as practice generally makes very little sense for anyone that knows what they're doing. Uh, they, diversification is a protection against ignorance. I mean, if you want to make sure that nothing bad happens to you relative to the market, you own everything. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, that, that is a perfectly sound approach for somebody who, who does not feel they know how to analyze businesses. Five, recognize market resilience. Suppose you hold shares in a tech behemoth and also own real estate. If the tech sector falters while the property market remains stable, your losses are not universal. Now is also an opportune time to intensify your professional endeavors or embark on a side venture. 
It demands extra effort, but can significantly augment your growth prospects. Yes, navigating a recession is daunting, but the upcoming one in 2024 is replete with opportunities for wealth expansion. Remain composed, adhere to your strategic path, and leverage these turbulent times to your benefit. Don't merely await economic stabilization. Instead, actively engage with the recession's challenges and seize the opportunities it presents. Be proactive in identifying undervalued assets, be they in stocks. We advocate that you watch our next video. This video is going to help you speed up your success step by step. So go ahead, click this and get on the faster track. Until next time, happy investing. So how are you going to take advantage of the 2024 recession? Share your plans with us in the comments below.